Hey, Wheel of Time fans, welcome back. This is Darth checking in with you. Okay, so uh, I haven't been here this week. Honestly, my uh, whenever you have kids, you get colds a lot, by the way. Just a heads up. You will get whatever they're sick with, and they're sick constantly. So that's unfun. But uh, been dealing with that this week. Been uh, I had to paint the garage. Not even moved into the new house yet. Getting some work done busy, busy week. In any case, here now, uh, and let's talk about, uh, predictions for the episode coming out tonight slash tomorrow, depending on where you are in time zone. Yeah. So I don't know what you guys, uh, think is going to happen in this episode. I have a lot of predictions. Uh, I think that from the trailers that we watched early on, that, we, for those of you who haven't read the books, there was a scene where these guys in white uh, clothes, not the white cloaks, but like dingy looking white ragged clothes with spears on their back, were fighting soldiers in suits of armor, and uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about what that is or who that is, etc., but I think that our cold open for this episode will be that, and uh to me, this is the good time to do that. It makes sense. It'll help set up some things regarding who the Dragon Reborn is, and uh, it's just overall, you need to have some sort of break uh, scene between uh, the door closing with Matt outside and then going back to that party in the ways. Uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to jump from the door closing on Matt, then for the next episode, and immediately they're on the other side of the door looking at each other like, are you going to open it? That wouldn't work. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to get that open on the people with the spears and the battle scene. It'll be really fun to watch that. Um, and I think also that in this episode... You know, last episode, I was saying in my predictions video, I thought we were going to see Lan Eve have their first kiss or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and re-predict that, because that didn't happen. And I feel like, uh, I feel like those two are going to. That just seems to me like it lines up right. Uh, I also think that this episode will answer the question of who the Dragon Reborn is. I do. I suspect that uh, if it doesn't directly answer it, then by the end of the episode, we will be pointed clearly in the direction, and the next episode will be the confirmation. One of the two, but I think they're going to go ahead and reveal it here, and let uh, the next episode show a little bit more of what that means, etc. Maybe it'll be a, a sort of handoff, you know, a little handshake between... Uh, the current main character and the future main character, right? Um, though it is, of course, an ensemble cast, so main character is a little bit wrong to say. That's kind of like saying Jon Snow in Game of Thrones, you know? So, um, I think those things are going to happen. I also think in this episode that we will get... Um, I hope we cut back to the two rivers. I want to see what's going on with the people there. And, uh, you know, just kind of explore what they're up to. Uh, I also hope in this episode that we get more of, uh, okay, so they're in the ways right now. I think they're going to come out of the ways partway through the episode. And then I think we're going to get introduced to a new area. And in that new area, I expect us to get a lot more information about Lan, which is awesome. Because Lan's awesome. And we want to know more about that guy. So, I think there will be a good bit about that. This is probably too much stuff to pack in an episode. But I just don't expect us to stay with our main party the whole time. I don't know why. Uh, it would probably be better if we did. But I don't expect us to. So, um, yeah, I think we'll cut away and either go... I don't think we'll go back to the White Tower because that's too close to, like, hitting into Matt stuff. And as many of you may know, the, uh, the actor, uh, playing Matt didn't come back for the reshoots. So I think we're kind of done with anything that could touch on him. 
Um, but definitely feel like we're going to cut away to the two rivers some in this episode. Uh, what else is there here? Uh, I think we'll get some more answers regarding Perrin also. I think that, uh, <coughs> sorry. I think that we will get to see more of what he's up to. And, uh, now that Egwene and Rand are reuniting, we might finally get to, to see that relationship kind of progress a little as well because they were sort of on rocky ground and they got split up and I'm hoping for a bit of reconciliation there I think um, so that's a lot for an episode uh, there is one other thing that I'll say here but I think that even touching on it is a spoiler so <coughs> just uh, if you want to hop away now this is a good time to do so Okay, the last thing I want to touch on is that I anticipate that Padden Fain shows up in this episode. I think that he comes back and that we get uh, not exactly what happens in the books, but between here and the next episode, I expect us to cover the beginning of the Great Hunt, as it were. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not too spoilery for anybody who, you know, isn't reading. But uh, for those of you who have, that should make sense. Up through the dungeons. That's what I kind of think. All right, folks. Well, that is it for me today. Y'all have a great one. And let's see what episode seven brings.